and gentlemen, leave your camel untied. You don't need it. Yes, you're lucky. But prudence demands that you tie your camel first and then go about your business. Let me share with you my brush with luck, or the lack of it. Model United Nations, popularly known as MUNs, are simulations of United Nations conferences involving school children and require a lot of researching and debating skills. I love being a part of these conferences, not that I'm actually good at them. I feel I am terrible, but watching experienced MUNers pee at each other's throats to prove that their country is right just makes my day. If you've been to an MUN, you know what I'm talking about. I've navigated through MUNs a few times, worked hard all the time, but luck has eluded me more often than not. I've been to four MUNs in my life, and for some reason, my MUN luck is just the worst. To prove that my country's refugee policies were humane, I've gotten Australia that sends its refugees to detention centers. And I've gotten Saudi Arabia on the topic of capital punishment and judicial administration. Yes, I almost cried during both. This time, when my school organized its second MUN, I decided to go for a committee in which I wouldn't have to defend the indefensible of a country. I decided to choose international press corps rather than a committee with a country. I was allotted my news agency in early April, which was coincidentally the beginning of my new school year. I was going to high school, grade nine. One thing you have to do before an actual MUN conference is to submit a position paper, which is the summary of your country's stand on the given topic. Usually, my grandfather, who is basically good at everything and has considerable political knowledge, helps me by giving me valuable aids. This time, I was clueless as to how to write the stands of a newspaper agency on the topic and decided not to bother my knowledgeable guide as well. So I started to research about my news agency while I was getting used to grade nine, which made it hard to focus on anything else since it was high school. So I kept procrastinating, but do not judge me. I am a really hard worker. I research days and nights for MUNs and start writing my position papers well in advance before the submission date. This time, I didn't. Well, working hard wasn't going in my favor, or so I thought. OK, so a day before my position paper deadline, I did not have one. So I started to write my position paper that I obviously couldn't finish in time. Then a message from heaven came. Well, it wasn't from heaven. It was from my chair saying that the deadline had been postponed and extended by two days. Whew. Had Lady Luck finally decided to smile? I burnt midnight oil and finished my position paper four hours before the deadline. I knew this position paper wasn't my best, but I was proud that I had written it on my own without anyone's help and managed to finish it before, before the deadline, well, the second one. I luckily ended up winning the award for the best position paper. I wasn't shocked at all, not because I was expecting the award, but because someone had given me the spoiler, but that isn't the point. The point is that luck is a factor too. I've heard many, many people say that you create your own luck, you control your own luck, or that it doesn't matter, but it does. It is the uncontrollable and indeed intangible factor of success. We seem to ignore the fact that sometimes people really do work hard and still are not successful. It is not because they didn't try hard enough, maybe it wasn't in the luck. Now, we. The part about the unspoken uh, part of success remains unspoken. The intangible factor is unspoken about. No one talks about it. This topic is relevant more so because in this current era of high stress and competition, when nobody can accept failure, people resort to extreme steps such as suicide once they face rejection. If only they knew not every outcome is in their control, there sure is an uncontrollable factor in life. The sooner we accept it, the easier it will be. It is rightly said by James Clear, absolute success is luck, relative success is hard work. What this means is that your hard work will take you places, will give you success. Hard work is something that you can control, but luck is something that you cannot. You may not always be lucky, but you can always work hard. If you work hard and have luck, success is guaranteed. If you work hard but don't have a lot of luck, Success is possible, but if you just sit around waiting for success to come at your doorstep, even luck may desert you. 
Let me make this clear. This is not a discussion about whether we should just sit back, relax, and wait for luck, or be devastated after we didn't get the results we deserved. No, I am not in any way saying that hard work is dispensable. What I'm trying to say is that one should not be sad about losing or failing when one knows one has worked hard. So, on the other hand, you may get all the lucky breaks in the world, but unless you take action, they're pretty useless. So try your best and leave it to the factors beyond your control with a smile. Just like the New Zealand captain Kane Williamson did. In the recently held Cricket World Cup, both England and New Zealand equally deserved to back the gold. But it was sheer luck that it went in England's direction, their hard work notwithstanding. Now, if you still don't believe in the power of luck, here is the headless chicken. Mike, the headless chicken, lived for 18 months after its head and beak chopped off. And I'm not making this up, this is the real picture. Now, you may credit this to some biology miracle or the hard work of the person who did this or maybe some amazing technique, but you will have to agree, every chicken that you behead doesn't become the headless living chicken. This was by fluke. If you were not successful, that doesn't mean you weren't prepared enough, you weren't committed enough, or that you did not deserve it. Chance favors the prepared minds. Hard work has its place. You should not dwell on things that you can't control. But again, don't dwell on hard work alone. You may not get the results you deserved. So, good luck. All the best. May the odds be ever in your favor. Have you heard this before? What do you think your loved ones mean by this when they wish you before you embark on an important challenge? Now, what difference would this make? No, this, this wouldn't make a difference in your preparation, but it would make a difference, and that difference is huge. It is the difference between a congratulations and a very well tried. Thank you.